Okay, so you want to give this solo RPG thing a try. You've downloaded some game, bought or free, it's up to you. And then you've, you've jumped online or you've talked to a friend who's already done it, and they point you in the direction of me, myself, and die. To give you some advice on how to do it, they've directed you to the grand sage Trevor Duval himself as to how you can play solo RPG. But of course, watching this show, you're sitting there going, this is very entertaining, but I don't know how to do that. That seems very impressive. That seems very daunting in order to do that. How is he doing it? This, this, this model is a good model, but what is it that makes Trevor DeVal such an effective solo RPG that I can actually incorporate into my own play? Well, I think I've got one thing that anyone can try. So let me explain. So like I said, Trevor DeVal is the host and player of Me, Myself and Die. Again, excellent show, legitimately go watch it. He's not paying me, it's just that entertaining. Um, but he is a voice actor from America. I don't know where from America. California? Probably not, I don't know. And in Me, Myself and Die, he's managed to merge two of his passions. Clearly they're his passions. That are performing and entertaining people and his love for roleplay games. Uh, he has a lot of experience apparently in, in just regular RPG solo, uh, not solo, RPG games with other people. But he also enjoys solo play and he's giving it a go on the camera to much success and fanfare. But like I said, he's a voice actor, very creative guy, lots of experience. And so when you start out in solo RPG and you see that as the model, it can be a little daunting. Do I have to do all the stuff that he does in order to have a great time? And I think most people already know the answer is no, of course you don't have to do all that. Um, but nonetheless, they can now ask the question, what is it that I should take away from what I'm seeing in front of me? And this was my big takeaway. This was the thing that made me go, I get it now. I've been trying solo RPG for a while. It was kind of fun, but uh, it felt I was, wasn't getting anywhere. And then watching that show, something did finally click. And I've talked about this before, but let me give you in detail what I think makes Trevor DeVal work that anyone could try. And it's simply this. Mr. DeVal constantly asks himself questions. Indeed, it proves that the greatest tool in any solo RPG players can have is simply the question. It's more important than dice rolls and stats and, and random tables. Asking yourself questions as you play the game helps you to really make the world come alive, make a story come alive, make a game come alive, if you ask questions. At its most basic, that question will be a yes or no question about the world that you're creating or the situation that your character appears in. For example, your character appears in a dungeon, they go to open a door, and you can ask yourself a very simple question, is the door locked? And that's it, that's all you need to do. From that point on, you let the dice take over. Whatever dice system you're using, you'll probably find that it comes with a yes or no oracle table, where you know, depending on what number you roll on the dice or what card you flip over in a deck, it will determine statistically yes or no. Now accompanying that question will come a follow-up question. If you're going up to this dungeon door and you ask the question, is it locked? You then have to additionally ask yourself, well, what is the likelihood of it being locked? If it's a dungeon that no one's ever been in for centuries, well, it's probably pretty high likelihood. If it's one that's been raided and already busted open and you're following in the wake, it's probably been smashed open, but you don't know. So you then simply say, if it's likely to be locked, you roll on your dice with some sort of result that would be, you know, a high probability. If you're rolling on a D6 and it's very likely to be locked, it will only be unlocked on a six. And that very basic question is beginning to flesh out the situation. And obviously if it's likely to be locked, it's like, oh great, I now need to try and pick it. And you roll whatever stat you need to do in order to pick it. If it's unlocked though, on that unlikely chance that it's not locked, why? Why is it unlocked? Could this be a trap? And you roll again. Is this a trap? Is there a monster on the other side of the door? And just like that, the story continues. 
if you keep asking questions. The questions you ask should more or less be logical progressions from what has happened before contextually. The reason why I ask if the door is locked is because, well, this is a dungeon and there's a lot of locked doors in dungeons. But then the question of, is this a trap? Is there a monster behind the door? Emerge from the fact that the door was unlocked. So as you can see, these questions do cascade on one from the other to the other. The point is, you're not going to be handed anything. In some games, you, games you might. But in most games, you're not going to be handed the answer. You just have to be curious and ask questions. Now, some questions might be more complicated than that. And there are other tables you can roll on or, or other systems that allow you to figure out uh, more detailed responses. What color is the lock of the door if you really want to find that out? But by that point, you're possibly asking too granular a question. You only ask really detailed things like that if you think it's going to be a part of your game or a part of your story in some way. And like I said, Mr. Duval is an expert in this. And the best thing about it is it's a skill that isn't that hard to master. Putting on funny voices, telling a lovely three-act story or whatever, uh, having an epic game where you're making correct tactical decisions about how to address it, all those things are quite complicated and can be very daunting. But anyone can ask a question and anyone can very quickly develop that skill when they're playing their game. I legitimately think that that's the best thing about Mr. DeVal's uh, videos, but you might have a different opinion and that's totally fine. Let me know in the comments below what is the like fundamental basic thing that makes solo RPing uh, work for you. And I guess ultimately, thank you for so much for watching. See you next time.